I would like to shout out Conjamel Conjamal Vinny. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I'm probably mispronouncing it for sending me this story. And let me tell you right now, this woman looks like a combination of the Blob, Michelin Man, and uh, what's his name off of X Men? Um, uh, the Juggernaut. She looks like a con and Snorlax, like a combination of all four of these and then some. Well, this story is coming out of Wilkins per Wilkinsburg. I'm sorry. Pennsylvania, where this woman by the name of Jennifer Stout has been charged with neglect, and I mean of the worst degree, and leaving her three children, all under the age of 13, in deplorable conditions for several months. I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from WPXI. It says, three kids have been taken to Children's Hospital with severe signs of neglect. Police charged Jennifer Stout with aggravated assault and endangering children. According to police, Stout had been caring for the kids who are 2, 9, and 12 for the last seven months. The children's aunt went to visit them last week, and that's when she contacted police about the conditions. She stated upon entering the house, she observed a mat on the floor in the downstairs and observed a small body on it that ended up being her two-year-old nephew. Stout told police the children's mother left them with her about seven months ago because she didn't want them anymore. The two older children nearly lost 20 pounds in three months. The two-year-old nearly lost 10 pounds. When confronted by investigators, Stout spoke uh, spoke about their health. Stout denied e e ever intentionally starving the children. However, she acknowledged that she observed this current physical state and informed us that she should have taken them to receive medical attention. Stout is charged with several felony charges, including aggravated assault and three counts of child endangerment. Her prelim preliminary hearing is set for January 3rd. Let me tell y'all something right now. First off, no, this is not so shocking or surprising, but it is amazing how the lamestream media will push out and pipe out these talking points that black parents, specifically black mothers, since we're talking about, a, I don't, I can't even call this woman a mother and no mother who loves her kids would do anything like this. But when they say stuff about black mothers and how they are some of the worst mothers in the world and stuff like that. Now, granted, I've heard some horror stories involving black mothers and everything like that. But this right here and a host of others that I've talked about takes the cake. Like, it's amazing how they love to turn a blind eye to stuff like this. And then quickly try to go into the mental illness category. I'm willing to bet all the money in the world she's going to try to play up that whole mental illness shtick like many of them like to try and do i mean look at this woman she looks like she is not like she is not capable of raising a damn gnat let alone three kids but they like to say that black parents make some of the worst parents i just did a story i don't know recently about another mother just treating her kids like crap. Like I said, if you cannot handle having kids, don't have them. This is more than um, postpartum depression. This is something completely much more sinister and wicked. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.